How can you make money as a small streamer? Let's go through a couple of options. What's going on guys, my name is Kyle and welcome back to the game department. Today we're gonna to talk about how you can make money as a small streamer. Now for me, it's really weird thinking about taking money on my stream. It's it's still something that I'm trying to wrap my head around. When I first started the stream, I didn't really think there was gonna be many people that even wanted to watch my content, let alone uh, help support me make content. So that was a that was a learning curve alone outside of, of how to make money. It was it was how to uh, how to accept the money. That was that was a harder thing, harder thing overall. The couple of ways that you can make money as a small streamer are pretty obvious in a sense of what Twitch provides for you to make money, but there's a couple of different things that, that people may not be aware of. Now, before we get into the options, I just wanna preface that there's a very big difference between making money for your brand as a creator and making money for yourself. D does that make sense? Any money that I've made on Twitch has stayed within the game department stream. I haven't taken money out to buy a pizza or something stupid, do you know what I mean? It's gone to lights, it's gone to upgrading overlays, it's gone to emotes, or sub badges, it's gone slowly upgrading that stream so I can provide you guys with something that's a little bit nicer than what we previously had. Obviously, and I'm sure all content creators are gonna feel exactly the same, subs and bits and donations and, and all that sort of stuff are definitely not expected. I, I, I mean, I don't expect them. I hope that there's people out there that aren't expecting you to, to donate money because that's that just seems crazy on a free platform. But I'm getting sidetracked. If somebody believes in what you're doing and finds value in, in the content that you're providing and, that, and they want to help support you, then fantastic. But I definitely wouldn't go into any of this believing that you are entitled to that or deserve that more than anybody else because you're you. Fair? Fair. Now let's go over a couple of these options before I have a mental breakdown about accepting people's money. Now the first couple of options, as I said before, they are a little bit obvious because it's things that Twitch provide for you to be able to make some sort of money on your stream in the way of bits, subs, and donations. Now if you're unsure of what these actually are, I'll explain really briefly. So donations aren't really something that Twitch has anything to do with. It goes from one person directly to a PayPal account or to whatever account you've set up to receive those payments, and Twitch doesn't take a cut of that like they do with their bits and subs, but we'll get into that in a second. So it's not really something that Twitch provide to you, but at this point, it's pretty much become a, a mainstream part of, of Twitch in the way of sub bits and donations interlock together within the Twitch ecosystem, I guess we'll call it. Now moving on to subs and bits. Now, subscriptions are something that your community can do towards the stream, so they can subscribe at tier one, tier two, or tier three. Tier one being the cheapest, tier three being the most expensive. And with every subscription that happens on your stream, Twitch will take half. If you're a crazy popular creator, obviously you could potentially renegotiate your terms on, on, on that income, but as far as everybody else or the majority of people go, if you get a tier one subscription, you get half, Twitch gets half. Seems completely viable to me. Now bits are a little bit different. So bits are an in-house currency that Twitch have developed. So as far as I'm aware, one bit is one US cent. So really simply, if somebody comes into your stream and they donate a hundred bits, Twitch will pay you one cent per bit. So it's one US dollar per 100 bits which makes sense. Now that we've gone over bits, subs, and donations, you work into other ways that you can bring income towards the stream to help make improvements. The best one and the easiest one will be merch. Obviously merch doesn't sell for everybody, depends on your designs, it depends on your community and things like that, but the easiest way that you can make an extra step to putting some income back into the stream is with a merch store. Now, if you have a Streamlabs Prime account, you can use their merch, it's amazing, it's super, super easy. If you don't know what the Streamlabs merch looks like, or you're not sure if Streamlabs Prime is something for you, I'll leave two videos in the description. One is on the quality of the merch, and the other one is if Streamlabs Prime is something that you should consider. I started using Streamlabs Prime about two months ago, and it has just made everything so much easier. If you want more details, they'll be in the description, but that's what I would suggest. If you are using the Streamlabs merch store, you can assign different profits to specific items. You can get them shipped straight from Streamlabs so you don't have to touch or handle any of the merchandise. If you don't have the room for it or you don't have the ability to send stuff out to people, Streamlabs makes it nice and easy for you to make a little bit of money back and they pay you every month with whatever profit you've made over that month. Now I'm not saying that with six months of having a merch store, you're gonna have a Tesla. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is $20 over the space of three months will help 
help you improve by way of getting better emotes or something. It doesn't matter. You should be thankful that people want to help support you. I, I, I still can't explain the feeling of getting a notification of somebody buying a hat or buying a shirt or, or whatever the situation is. And I might only make a dollar or a dollar fifty per item. But the fact that somebody's proud enough of our community that they want to wear that and show that, that's that alone is is besides the money. That's amazing. That's the coolest feeling in the world. I'm sorry, I'm getting so sidetracked. Now without making this a 25 minute video, that's four really simple ways that you can start making some sort of income as a small streamer. It's not gonna be heaps. It, it's not gonna be enough for you to quit your job tomorrow and, and start pumping out content. That's, that's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is every little bit will help. It doesn't matter how much you stockpile it and you, you upgrade something for your community because they are supporting you, you support them. That's the way it should work. And if it doesn't, you're doing it wrong. Now, I'm not gonna talk about sponsorships or sponsors or anything along those lines solely for the fact that I have no experience with that. I've never had a sponsor approach me and say, we'll give you this for this or whatever. I've never had a, a sponsored video. I've never had anything like that, which is, is not a massive, massive deal because we, we are still a super small community anyway. But I, I don't want to speak on something that I have no experience with. I do have experience with the merch. It does perfectly fine for what we're doing right now. I do have this, the experience with bits and the subs and the donations and things like that. Not I'm not trying to flex. I'm just saying that, that that's what I know and I'm not going to talk on something I don't know. The sponsorships, don't know about them yet and... I can't speak on them. But sponsorships aside, the subs, the bits, the donations, and the merch is heaps. It's heaps for you to be able to invest back into your stream and give back to your community. Speaking of community, if you want to join ours, we stream every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at twitch.tv forward slash the game department. I'll leave a little, a little thing down the bottom there. If you want to join us on Discord, we do have a fantastic Discord community. I'll leave a link to our server in the description. Come and join it. Come and be part of the team because we're Sick. If you want to find us on any other social media, just search the game department. You'll pretty much find us everywhere. Other than that, I'm going to leave you to it. I hope you have a good morning. I hope you have a good night. Bye.